Hey, hello, it's Jen. I'm going to be showing you how to play Happiness by Rex Orange County. I used a concert ukulele to play this song. If you want to know the exact model of this ukulele or any of the other ukuleles that I own, you can find them all listed down below in the description. Also, you'll find a link to the cover I did of this song if you want to check that out. Um, but let's get to it. So, standard tuning is good. Uh, G, C, E, A. Down below you'll find all of the chords that you need to know listed. If you find that you already know how to play all of these chords, uh, you can feel free to skip ahead to the timestamp I'm going to below right now. But if you don't know how to play these chords, no need to fear, I'm going to show you how to finger all of them. Uh, so starting off with the first chord you need to know, you need to know how to play F. Um, so starting off on the second fret, Play that, put your finger down on the top string, that's a G, and on the first fret, second from the bottom, that's going to be the E string, and it sounds like this. Then the next chord you need to know is a B flat minor. So let's start off on the first fret. You're going to put your pointer finger down on um, making sure that you're tabbing down the bottom three strings right there, the C, E, and the A. And then using a second finger, you're going to go to the third fret and put a finger down on that top string, the G. This one might be a little bit difficult for you to play the first time you um, play it. But if you just keep practicing and making sure that it sounds right, you'll get the hang of it. This is what it sounds like. And make sure that your pointer finger is getting down all of those strings. Otherwise, it might create a buzzing sound. And next you need to know D minor, D minor, so start off on the first fret, put a finger down on the second from the bottom string, then move on to the second fret, put a finger down on the top two strings, the G and the C, and it sounds like this. Next you need to know how to play C. C is a really simple chord. You just go to the third fret, that bottom string right there, and it sounds like this. Next you need to know D7. For D7, you're going to bar down the whole second fret. What that means is you put a finger down and it's going to cover, making sure that it like holds down all of the strings. So you're going to do that on the second fret. And then on the third fret, put a finger down on the bottom string right there. Sounds like this. Cool. Next you need to know G minor. For G minor, put a finger down on the first fret, bottom string, the A. Then go to the 2nd fret, put a finger down on the 2nd from the top string, that's the C. And on the 3rd fret, put a finger down on the 2nd from the bottom string, and it sounds like this. Cool. Next you need to know, this is the last chord you need to know, it is a B flat. So on the 1st fret, put a finger down on the bottom 2 strings, making sure that you are holding down both of the strings. And then on the 2nd fret, put a finger down on the 2nd from the top string. And on the 3rd fret, you're going to put down that top string, the G. It sounds like this. And those are all the chords you need to know to play this song. So let's get right into it. So the strum, the strumming pattern, there's no chucking involved, so that's good. However, it does kind of vary a little, slightly throughout the whole song. So, but basically it's all gonna come down to this kind of strum right here. Um, down, up, down, and down. It all comes down to that kind of strum. It's just a little, like, there are variations of it throughout the whole thing. So starting off with the verse, you start off with the F. Make sure you follow along using the chords over here on the side. I'm going to play what it should sound like and then we can break it down after. Feel free to follow along. I'll be the one that stays to the end And I'll be the one that needs you again And I'll be the one that proposes In a garden of roses and truth Oh, 
sound like. Now breaking it down, so for the first half of what we just did, you're going to be doing the strumming pattern. I'm playing an F right now. It's going to be down, up, down, up, down. So down, up, down, up, down. Pretty simple, right? So let's do that together. So I'll be the one down, up, down, up, down. Stays to the end. second half is just going to be the strumming pattern down and down that's it so down and down so for example um and i'll be the down and down down up 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 down down and then for the last chord the c you can keep going so uh, long after down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, you can kind of choose where to end that there yourself. So, um, yeah, that was the first verse. I hope that made sense. Um, we're gonna review it again for the following verse. So, if you didn't really understand it this time around, don't worry. So then we move on to the pre-chorus, and for the pre-chorus, but will you still love me? So basically what you're doing here, like I said, a variation of the down, up, down, up, down. So how about we go through it first to the strumming and then we'll go through it singing together. So pre-chorus. But down, up, down, up, down. And I'm completely out of breath, but let's do it singing now, so will you? But will you still love me when nobody wants me around? When I turn 81 and forget things, will you still be proud? And ta-da! So that's the pre-chorus. Lots of down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And you should be able to hear when the chord changes. That's just kind of something you'll get used to. Um, but yeah, moving on to the chorus. So the chorus is basically the same thing as the verse, the first half of the chorus, sorry. You're doing down, up, down, up, down. And the second half, you just do down, up, down, right? So uh, how about since we already learned how to do that, just follow along, I'll go a little slower and you can follow along using the chords over here on this side. Cause I am the one that's waited this long. I am the one that might get it wrong. And I'll be the... And then the strumming pattern changes a little bit so I'll be the one that will love you the way I'm supposed to go. And then the C, like in the like in the first verse, you're just gonna keep going down, 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 down. And then you go on to then you basically do the but will you still love me but we're not gonna go over the, that again because we already went over it for the bridge let's just go through it i'm not gonna really break it down that much just because it honestly is a um it's like a repetition of what we've been doing so just down up down up down and being able to hear where you switch the chords but if you're having trouble i am gonna have a tab down below in the comment section that you can check out so um proud of me and on a short list of accomplishments Down, up, 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 down,
So then for the astro, you can choose to just do down strums if you like, which I almost think is a better decision. But if you don't, you just basically keep doing the same thing. Cause I want you to tell me you find it hard to be yourself so I can say it's gonna be alright. And I want you to love me the way you love your family, the way you love to show me what it's like to be happy. And that's how you play happiness. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, this one was a little bit confusing just because of the strumming pattern, but make sure you check down the tab that I'm going to have pinned down in the comment section below. That should be helpful for you. And again, thanks so much for watching. You guys are the best. I am sending all my love and hope you guys have a great week. Bye!